Hi guys, this is Colette. Welcome back to my channel. Now I am here to do a quick review for you. I hope hopefully I'll keep it quick. And without further ado, here's here it is. Now Maybelline has some new things out in the drugstore. Uh, this is the Dream Matte. No, they have a Dream Matte Mousse, but this is one is is new. It's called the Dream Velvet soft matte hydrating foundation now i was not a fan of the original dream matte mousse or the um liquid foundation they had in the bot they have in the bottle they did not agree with me i did however wanted to try this so um this was 11 and change in the drugstore that my husband bought it the other night and it also came with the blender which is called the new dream blender foundation blending sponge all right the foundation i'm not going to give you an opinion of it yet because i have not opened it so i can't speak of it <coughs> however excuse me <coughs> both of these to get came together this was buy one get the other item half off so this ended up being three dollars and change now this is the, the thing that it comes in, it's that tough plastic, um, in the, pla the plastic, the little, it's one of those kind of plastic things that will cut you as well, so be careful guys. So it comes sitting like this, just like so, sitting like this in the container. On the back of the plastic, you can see it gives directions on how to place the um, foundation over your face and then blend it out. Now, this is it. This is dirty because I just tried to use it. And this thing, it is still damp because I did wash it, I did wet it. Um, just the way you would wet your beauty blender. No, you see me shaking my head, right? <laughs> Let's talk about the plus about this thing. It is relatively cheap because um, half off it turned out to be $3 and change. Let's just check in my receipt here. Um, it was $3.24. So... For a seven dollar and change item, you know, it's okay. But there are better products on the market if you need a good beauty blender sponge. Personally, I'm not a big, big fan of the Real Techniques sponge. I think I tossed mine. But if you really want a good sponge, do invest in the beauty blender this is not a commercial for beauty blender this is not being endorsed this is not a sponsored video i just happen to have spent my money and bought one of those beauty blenders when they were limited edition and by george i end up loving them i now have four full-size ones and a little teeny one and you can see this you see how it moves and this is a dry one this thing you have to really squeeze it hard. You have to really squeeze it hard. There, you can see. And right now, it is wet. It did not change the texture or the size, change in texture or size when it became wet. I don't like the fact that it is on this little piece of thing because I understand the concept of giving you something to hold while you put your foundation on versus the beauty blender you have to hold with your fingers i have no problem with holding whichever section of this because my fingers don't get dirty and messy so i can understand why nice idea you wanted to give us a little handle to hold on to good thought but the sponge needed more work it is not as porous at you as you would want it to be um, and I use the word porous in terms of when it gets wet with water, it expands. So the sponge is not that soft of a sponge. And another thing that I fear, even though I like the idea of a handle, I fear that it's going to stay wet down in the handle area right down in there where you see the sponge is at. And 
would gather bacteria because if this thing does not dry up properly that is exactly what it's going to do it is going to hold bacteria and yeah can we say breakout central it will happen so for me personally and I'm gonna wash this and I don't know I think I'll keep it because I it's only like three dollars and change I won't waste my time to go take it back to the store however I am going to keep it and use it because it is such a pointy little tip right here I was thinking I could use it to set you know use it to apply setting powder that loose setting powder which annoys me especially on a brush I'm going to try this for a setting powder to use it to apply setting powder is what I meant to say and let you guys know how that works out for me because as a foundation applicator it failed miserably and you will end up spending more time using this little guy to put on your foundation versus grabbing a brush or using a beauty blender or even your fingers I'm just saying so guys for me this is a fail um, I do appreciate the concept that Maybelline had and they try to give us something that you know they think we would like but this for me is a fail so I'm going to try to see if I can repurpose it and hold on to it but yeah um, for foundation application this for me is a no-no so this gets an F in my book alphabetically yeah fail I could give it a Z but I don't want to be too bad but anyway you get the point all right so if you guys have tried this and you like it or you were thinking of trying it do not let my review color your opinion in any way I think that everyone has to try something trial and failure is how we learn is how we know what we like and therefore by saying that this is my experience with the little sponge it's already looking like lim but this is my experience I personally do not like it for the purpose of applying foundation however you may try it and like it so feel free to go ahead and pick it up because right now in Walgreens it is buy one Maybelline product get the other one half off it would be a great time to pick it up and see how you like it if you don't like it then that's on you but I know I didn't like it but you can go ahead and try it and if you do share with me how you like it I bid you good day and I'll talk to you guys soon see you in the next video bye